Hi, I'm Steve Holler, a technical solutions architect for Y Technology. This video is part of our ongoing Cisco SD-WAN video series. Today, we're going to explore how to upgrade the software within the Cisco SD-WAN solution. So let's get started. Begin with login to Cisco View Manage. Next, navigate to the maintenance, win uh, maintenance menu. Within the maintenance menu, you'll have a few different options. You'll have software repository, software upgrade, and device reboot. The software repository is where you store your software images within vManage. You can upload these directly to vManage from files that you have on your computer that you download from Viptela or from Cisco.com. You'll see that we've already loaded 18.3.5 version within our repository. Once you have all the software you needed, then you come to the software upgrade. If you're doing a full system upgrade, you would start with vManage and upgrade that first. Then you would upgrade the different controller components, so your vSmart and your vBond, and then you would end with all of your WAN Edge devices. As you can tell, our Branch 3 WAN device is a revision behind and needs to be updated. So for us to update it, it's really quite simple. Click the checkbox, and then we click the upgrade button. Select the 18.3.5 from the dropdown, and we also want to activate and reboot after the upgrade is finished and then simply click the upgrade. As part of this process, the actual software will be sent to the remote WAN Edge device. From there, it'll be installed and the device will be rebooted. This can take up to several minutes and we'll fast forward through that so you don't have to wait during the video so you can see the end result. So you can see that the software has started to download. So we have to wait for this to download the full 233 meg. Now that the download has finished, it's going to install the software. And then finally, the device will reboot. And the software download has completed. After the download is complete, you can validate that it was upgraded successfully by checking the current version under the Software Upgrade tab. An additional step that you may be interested in is setting the default version of code. Here we want to change the default to 18.3.5. So this task will run and that will set the default version of code to the new one that we just upgraded. Now that, that is complete, you can finish the process by removing the old version of software from the router. So we can come in here and delete available software, check the versions you'd like to remove, and then we can delete it. Now that that has been deleted, you can now see that the new router is fully upgraded to 18.3.5. The Cisco SD-WAN solution gives you an easy way to manage software versions and ensure that everything is on the correct release and centrally manage all the software so you can upgrade multiple devices at once. We hope you found this video informative and look out for our other Cisco SD-WAN videos to learn more about the Cisco SD-WAN solution.